Oh. Well, I thought I was making, <laughs> I thought I was recording this, but I wasn't. Sorry, geez, this is kind of, you're going to catch this from the, uh, I guess from the middle. In this, this bowl, I had my coffee creamer, and I put one and a half cups of that with a cup of water. I blended it together and it gave me kind of the consistency of heavy cream. Then I added some mango, some cinnamon, and some honey. this in the freezer and blends it again to uh, make it creamy I'll freeze it for a couple of hours I'll be right back so I took the ice cream mixture out of the freezer and it had already started to freeze around the edges and I touched it and it was so creamy I could tell that this is not going to crystallize so this ice cream should be really good. I'm going to whip it one more time. I whipped it one more time just to get some more air in it. And now I'm going to pour it into this container and put it in the freezer. This is going to be so good. Oh my goodness, look how thick that is. Okay, just leave it like that. Cover it. Then stick it in the freezer and I'll be back in a few hours and we'll taste it. Hey my G's, how's everybody doing? I gotta apologize for um, that mishap with the videotaping of the making of the ice cream, but I will drop the recipe in the description so you guys will know everything that went on. It is frozen. Now it's taking a couple of scoops. Look at that. Look at how creamy that is. I can't believe I made real ice cream. Yeah. This is, um, you know, for my birthday celebration, I had the cake. But I didn't have any ice cream. So, this is the ice cream that was supposed to go with the cake. birthday celebration live that I did last Friday but it was a lot of fun and I would like to formally thank cooking with Q and more for coming to my rescue because I had no idea what I was doing and he allowed me to make him a moderator for the games that I was playing and he was a big help um Q hit me up if you're watching this and drop your information yeah so that I could send you out that meager little gift and um, just as a small thank you um, you are a great help to me and I really appreciate it we played games that night and it was so much fun I really didn't know it was gonna be so much fun I gotta let you see this ice cream up close oops stripping there look at that Mmm. It is so creamy and not icy at all. And it tastes like real ice cream. Mmm. I'm a little crooked. I think that's good. My birthday was so, I just so much fun the whole day. I woke up in the morning. 
and my oldest daughter, the one that lives in California, had put together this gift for me. She got in touch with some of the closest people to me, and they all made little um, birthday videos for me, and I don't know, I think that it would have meant a lot to me normally, but under the circumstances that we're in right now, it really, I am so crooked, I'm sorry. It really meant a lot to me, and I cried through the whole thing like a big baby, but I cry a lot anyway. <laughs> mm. So that was so sweet. And I got to see my cousin, who I haven't seen in, I don't know, so long. <laughs> He's crazy. He's still crazy. Still a nut, but he is my absolute favorite nut. And uh, it was just a good time. And I had um, my younger daughter, she got me a cake from <clears throat> one of the restaurants that I want to take you guys to, Senza. And it was a flourless chocolate cake filled with a chocolate ganache and the ganache had Grand Marnier in it and it was just really really good. I was supposed to heat it up and then the chocolate, the ganache was supposed to be all melty like um, it was like a lava cake I think is what they call it. but I got up that, <clears throat> excuse me, I got up that morning and I ate cake for breakfast because I'm grown and I can do that. <laughs> And so I didn't want to heat it up because then that would have made a big mess because the cake was already cut. So, but it was good cold too. Yeah. And flourless chocolate cake is one of my favorite cakes. So it was good. And hopefully. I'll get to take you guys to Senza sooner than later, but I don't know. And hopefully it's still around by the time all this is over, because I know restaurants must be getting hit pretty hard. Especially places like that. Because the food is good, yes, but part of it is the allure. It's like just the whole ambiance. It's an experience to eat there. And um, I don't think, I can't imagine that their takeout business is just as good as when they're fully open, so. Yeah, I just hope this is over soon and over for good, not just over so that people can make money, you know. Hmm. This ice cream is so, so good. I'm going to be making ice cream all the time. <laughs> oh, mm. It's non-dairy. And if I used sugar instead of honey... It would have been vegan too. Does this thing keep slipping or is it my imagination? I don't know. I'm just going to leave it however it is. Yeah, it would have been vegan because I used um, a dairy-free dairy free powdered creamer in the recipe. There's no egg or anything like that. It's just the creamer, um, honey, mango, cinnamon, and water. Yeah.
good stuff. Next time I think I'm going to make chocolate. That should be good. I can't believe how creamy it is. Hmm. And I got it right on my first try, which is also good. Yeah, very nice. But I used um I used my stick blender, I think you'll see it in the beginning of the the video or the middle of the video because the beginning didn't record. <laughs> hmm. So for those of you that don't know I celebrate my birthday all month. So, Friday was cake, today is ice cream. Who knows what it's going to be tomorrow? <laughs> hmm. but hopefully, I'll think of something good. And in the meantime, don't forget to thumbs up this video. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe, become family, and click on the notification bell so that you'll know whenever I post something. Then, don't forget to count your blessings, be a blessing to someone else, and be kind to yourself. We can all use a little kindness. Until next time,